I have some pretty controversial thoughts on Elliot that in the past have gotten me some passionate comments. But the truth is that I've actually never married him. So today we're going to be marrying the redheaded drama queen and answering a question that I get asked a lot. What's my problem with Elliot? Leah, don't, don't look for a second. I just gotta... Do you think she'll notice that it's gone? Good morning. Uh, it's not gonna be a good morning for some of us, Lewis. I'll be honest with you. File for divorce? I don't wanna do it to Leah. All right, I'll do it to her. Elliot, are you home? Can we go inside? No. See, this is my first big issue with Elliot, right? Bro just sits in this little cabin in the middle of nowhere, and then they just can't get in. If anything, the Beatles- Oh, Elliot, 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 hello. Um, I wasn't just waiting here until you came out. One of my biggest issues with Elliot is that even though he lives in a shack like this, all the gifts he loves are so expensive. I have to get a duck feather for this man? Lobster? Bro, you live in a shack with holes in it. He's such a material girl. I'm a very talented fisherman. Not Leah's ex. Oh, I forgot to change my name. I guess we are now Leah's ex, huh? I've never actually married Elliot, so I only have a slight idea of what his actual storyline is. Look, this is all he does in spring. He leaves his house, he stands right here, and looks at the ocean. The forest is a wonderful place. Have you been there? Have you left this beach? It's a painting by Leah. <sighs> I used to have paintings by Leah too. Oh, wait, we've already got the two hearts. This is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. Yeah, 90% of your time because you literally do not go anywhere else other than the beach. For as long as I can remember, I've wanted to be a writer. That's why I live out here by myself. I figured a lonely life by the sea would help me focus on my literary inspirations. He's forcing it too much. Forcing the, the woe is me lonely creative artist. You can go live in the town and still write. Everyone back home said I was nuts, that I could never make it as a writer. My father lived in the palace in Austria, said I could never make it. I can see it in your eyes. You believe in me, not Leah's ex. Now that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, I hate him so much. There's just something about the way he, sp he speaks. What kind of books do you like? Um, okay. I think he wants me to choose romance, but I'm gonna go mystery because that's actually what I would read. I'm trying to find a schedule for Elliot, but look at look at this. Look at this, right? Look at what he does, okay? Leaves his cabin to stand on the beach, returns to his cabin. He doesn't do anything. I can't seem to find the inspiration to begin, begin writing my novel. So you're telling me going out and staring at the waves for hours on end every single day doesn't actually give you inspiration? There has to be more to him than just like a man who moved to the ocean to write. Wait, what happened? <laughs> Wait, come back. Oh, he's playing piano. I think this is kind of awkward because I didn't, I have music turned off. I thought someone was there. That was wonderful, Elliot. I'm not very good, but wow. I enjoy playing. I've been working day and night to try and finish my book. You'll love it. It's about a long head exquisite beautiful man who lives out by the sea and he suffers from writer's block and it's all about his creative journey it's really original i promise you it's really really good an occasional tune is the only recreation i allow myself this is your issue elliot is you need to that's not how you get past writer's block there's just too much work to do and my bank my bank account's starting to run dry daddy hasn't topped me up in two weeks sometimes i wish i could just throw it all away and become a farmer like you poor peasant boy you see he's uh, it just it just screams rich boy to me you know what i mean oh you poor have such an easier time in life don't you yeah it's just as hard to be a farmer you pretentious pretentious boy that was an insensitive thing to say oh maybe we can open elliot up to a little bit of class C class consciousness class conscience consci maybe we can make elliot aware that there's poor people out there there we go that's how i'm gonna say it i'd like to get far away from this dark musty prison you can you can you can you can leave your cabin and go to the town that is a hundred meters away from you and just go talk to people sigh the thing is he actually said that sigh i have great news my novel is finished what 
Oh no, we missed an event. Wait, his his novel is finished already? He just needed some more lobster to fuel his mind? Okay, this is out of order. So just pretended this, um, just, just pretended this, just switched them back around. Oh, here he comes. Oh, hello, Nautilus X. What a pleasant surprise. I was just stopping in to relax after an eight hour riding session. Oh, I was there riding for eight hours. Yeah, I was breaking my back on a farm. Bartender, two of your finest ales, please. Did he... Did he actually just talk to Gus like that? This is not how a person speaks to a bartender. Oh, Gus is rightfully pissed. Wait, I propose a toast? <sighs> it's like, not everything has to be whimsical, Elliot. To your doom, I wish. Here's to us. Why do we drink like that? He talked down to Gus, and I don't like that. Oh, and we're straight into the next one. Wow, the whole town is here. I feel so relieved to be done with my book. It's like an elephant's been lifted off my shoulders. All he needed was like 15 lobsters and he would get through the book. I'd better get started with the reading. Wish me luck. Of course, Emily's the only one to say hi. Ever since I was a young boy, I've dreamt of becoming a writer. When the time came for me to leave home, in the palace of the fields of Austria, just letting you all know. After countless hours scribbling at my writing desk, I present to you my first book. Blue Tower. From the shadows emerged a man. Good evening, Mr. Lou, he said, the corners of his mouth, mouth quivering. Lou seemed astonished. How did you know my name? <gasps> Wait, no, I want to know more. I want to know more. That seemed okay. I wanted to know more. I'll be selling signed copies of the book from my front desk. Thanks for listening. Everyone's like, wow, that was shit. I got the idea for making a mystery from you. Do you remember? Yeah, because it was like two days ago and you managed to write that entire book. That's why I've dedicated this book to you. Marnie's like, why don't you speak to me like that? My biggest problem with Elliot so far is that he seemed so pretentious. The way he spoke to Gus in the star drop was so rude. And then to be like, oh, I just wish I, ha I was a farmer who had it easy like you do, am I right? Bro, it's not easy being a farmer. You just think it's a lesser job. Would you like to be my boyfriend? I think the worst part on top of this, I don't even like lobster. Oh, he is gonna be using the bow. Oh, that's kind of cute. Hey, this is the first word that he's actually said that's normal. I fixed up that old robot, rowboat that's been sitting by my house. Would you do me the honor of joining me for her maiden voyage? Oh, he just might be a bit too fancy for my taste. I would not feel comfortable being in the middle of nowhere in the ocean with this man. My book's been out for a while now. It's not a bestseller or anything, so you don't have the money. So why am I here? And I really couldn't have finished it without your moral support. That's not true at all. I would have finished it either way. He didn't seem to be doing well before I gave him those lobsters. We've been friends for a while now. Ah, uh, Elliot, I'm your boyfriend. For once, I'm at a loss for words. Thank God I wish you'd stop speaking. Bro, what? Bro, what? You're trembling? Did you just, I, 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 what? I'm trembling because you just did, I'm, we're in the middle of nowhere. I have no escape. I can't, uh, I don't know if I can press, I'm happy. He took me out in the middle of nowhere to kiss me. Just wait till Twitter hears about this, Elliot. I'm so sorry that you can't just, that's not okay, Elliot. Learn from your mistakes. Wow, that was a very uncomfortable situation for everyone involved. Let's go make sure he can marry us still. I guess the implication is you've been dating for a while, but he said you're still friends. That's the thing. It's like he said we were still friends. So which one is it? Let's go marry him after that. Tell me about your day. Uh, he, uh, it's really awkward now and he's trying to make it normal. Let's finally change our name. Mm, it's not though, is it? Yeah, that's better. Less and less people were attending our, our weddings. Lewis is like, Jesus Christ, this is the fourth wedding in a year. Damn it, I hate that this is one of the better things. Hello, Elliot, what are you up to today? Ah, what a lovely day to read a book. Don't you think, my dear? We have a whole farm to attend to. I'm feeling a sudden surge of creativity. You go on ahead and take care of business. He's just like, you can just do it, right? Oh, farming? You can just do it, right? I just want I've got to write some poetry. You, you, can, you can take care of it. Haley helped out on the farm. I made us a pot of coffee. Did you reach that? I've just received the most exciting news. I've been invited to do a reading tour of my book, The Blue Tower. I'll be out of town for a week. Oh my God, thank God, a week of peace. I'll be happy as a clam. Good one, it's not a joke, I am not. 
not joking. Please get out of my house. I'll be sure to write to you every day. Oh, he's writing us letters. I must admit I'm becoming a bit nervous at the thought of a public speaking. My stomach feels as if it's been twisted into a soft pretzel and doused with a spicy cheese dip. Wish me luck. Love, Elliot. Does he just send us letters for the next like week? I don't think it makes up for like everything else that he's done, but it's kind of sweet. I sold enough copies to pay off my book to pay for my bug infested hotel room. Wait, so he's not even profiting off of this? Oh, and don't forget the leftover crab cakes I put in the fridge. Oh, there is a crab cake in the fridge. I don't like crab. Oh, this is a poem. He's actually sent us a poem this time. In dreams, when graced with lofty view, I gaze upon the sunlight sea. What distant shores I've been, I've traveled to, but time now clouds my memory. There is but one internal place where I shall someday pass beyond, and valley dear where my love awaits, our little home beside the pond. Okay, that's pretty cute. Okay, I'll give him that one. I'll give him that one. And it's back to the normal boring letters. On these travels between towns, I amuse myself by closing my eyes and envisioning the farm. I see kegs pulsating with sweet wine, a furnace ablaze with precious ore, and our little kitchen with the smell of cinnamon and nutmeg. There's a lot to enjoy. I, um, I don't have any of those things. Oh, Jesus, why is he looking at me while I'm asleep? I'm back. <laughs> that is the most terrifying cutscene I've ever seen in Stardew Valley. He was just watching me sleep, and then as I wake up, he's like, I'm back. <laughs> ah, I've missed you. I, yep, I'm sure you have, Elliot. Well, I guess it's back to the old routine once again. Yep. Back to the old routine, Lewis. I'm back, baby. One more, just, just the same old routine. The problem with Elliot is that he's literally so pretentious, and he kisses you without consent. This man has red flags from day one. I should burn this little cottage to the ground.